So, tack girls, what are they? Basically, it's your normal girl except for the fact that she is planned and ready to militarily act in certain events. They are generally armed with equipment such as survival equipment, recon equipment, and a wide variety of firearms of different calibers. Now, here comes the question. Are tack waifus superior to normal waifus? To break down this question, we have to define superior. What makes a waifu superior to a different one? How they look and dress? How they are mentally defined and how they act? Whether they are capable of lobbying and bribing government officials through money and other subversive methods? There are better ways to categorize the superiority of your vast collection of waifus. For today's purpose, how prepared are they? Essentially, we will measure and quantify our waifus with how prepared they are for any situation. Simple, right? So we just prop these anime girls into situations and whoever is the most prepared will be more superior. Alright, our first scenario. You are walking with your waifu when suddenly you are approached by two thugs. Their primary goal is to steal your money, your dignity, and your waifu. What would a normal anime girl do? She would be powerless to stop them. You would be beaten up, your shit taken, and your waifu would be... Point is, she would not stop the thugs. Now, if you had a tack girl, she would first grab thug number one's fingers and break them with 3,000 newtons of force. When thug one steps back, tack waifu will proceed to pull out an Eichhorn Solingen KM2000 Kampfmesser borrowed from the German Bundeswehr. Using this weapon, she can drive away the two thugs, protecting your money and your will to live. One point for tack waifu. Next scenario is simple. You are walking in Akihabara after recently purchasing seven volumes of doujinshis. Suddenly, you are approached by someone with their own knife. He is an ugly bastard, and he wishes to take away those doujinshis you have. Your waifu is 30 meters away, and notices the situation. If it was a normal waifu, she would be unable to approach you in time to save you, and even if she could, she is unarmed and would be stabbed as well, followed by you. Now, these doujinshis are valuable prizes. So, you must protect them. At all costs. How would the attack girl do? The thing is that she does not even need to approach you to shield you, as she would simply pull out her Chris USA 5.5 inch barrel vector second generation submachine gun firing 9x 19mm parabellum with Midwest Industries iron sights mounted on a Picatinny rail. She's within the effective firing range of 50 meters and can dish out 20 rounds per second. The ugly bastard will be no match for her firepower. Another point for the tack waifu. Finally, we point out a common scenario. Your waifu is now being pitted against an anime protagonist. He is the main character and has the power of friendship and god on his side. Our waifu's goal is to defeat the protagonist. For a normal waifu, she would, once again, be powerless to defeat the protagonist. Being unarmed only allows minor injuries against the protagonist and at a limited range. The protagonist will instead take initiative, using his harem powers to seduce your waifu into this, his immense harem. This is NTR and is a defeat. The tack waifu is prepared even to counter protagonist powers, plot armor, and harem inducing pheromones. The tack waifu would simply keep a distance from the protagonist. She would take cover behind a boulder about one click away. Then, she would pull out a radio and contact the nearby Royal Air Force Panevia Tornado IDS GR-4A that is circling above at an altitude of 7,000 meters. The tech girl would relay the coordinates of the protagonist the aircraft, marking the target. The strike aircraft would pr then proceed to use its Raytheon GBU-24 Paveway 3 armed with a Mark 84 general purpose bomb as its warhead. The Paveway is guided by a laser being pointed at the target. With 910 kilograms of explosive filling, the protagonist would simply vanish from existence. These abilities of mass coordination and precision guidance of the payload makes the tactical waifu superior to your normal anime waifu.